Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the second episode of the Twintastic Podcast. Uh, Kibi wasn't able to make it today, so I'm here with Leo and Luca, and we're going to be talking about a bunch of different stuff this time, not just one topic. So this is going to be really fun. All right, cool. So the first thing, um, introduce yourselves. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Leo. I'm friends with OBG and Calum. Callum, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my old personality. <laughs> okay, okay then. And you, um, Luca? Hello, yeah, my name is Luca. Um, I'm friends with OBG and Leo. And um, I go to the gym, so that's pretty much my personality as well. So. <laughs> Crazy, we okay. We can start the podcast now. All right, so uh, I wanted to talk about something that's like, very into con- into the personal with me. I don't know if uh, you guys have probably seen my newest like shit post April Fools thing, yeah, and yeah. it's okay. So it covers like pretty much pretty much what my brain feels like when I'm playing friggin' Minecraft PvP, dude. Look, don't get me wrong. I actually quite like Minecraft Survival, and I have this like mod pack called the Legacy Console Edition, where it like the, so the Legend Legacy Console Edition makes it look like the Xbox 360 version. I've been playing that a bit. That's nice. fun, but like, bro, wouldn't you guys agree with me that like PvP uh, Minecraft Minecraft wasn't like Minecraft PvP wasn't even intended to happen. They kind of just added it as a feature. For, I don't, um, you know. Leo's not very up to date with PvP. Yeah, I don't really play much Minecraft PvP, to be honest. Because uh, I don't have a very powerful computer at the moment, I haven't really been playing much Minecraft. And even when I used to play Minecraft, I never really pay, played PvP that much. Like, it just never really interested me. Sure, like, Every once in a while, I'd played some Bed Wars with the boys, including Callum W. But, like, uh, I don't know, it never really interested me that much. You know? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, because out of all, like, out of everything in, in Minecraft as a whole, PvP is the least expansive and probably the, like, the least fun part of the game. So if you think about it, there's like, you know, there's like creative and survival and everything, but that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, apart from the fact that, um, so how it, how it affected my mental state, I played PvP ever since early 2017, and when I started playing it, I got so addicted to it that it overtook my <laughs> life, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was just... It was, it was, it's nuts, okay? I tried to, I tried my best to manage myself as best I could, but all that happened is that I would be seeking endorphins and dopamine so much that I would, like, play Hypixel Skywars and everything every day. (laughs) And, like, have you guys have the, have you guys had the same experience, but, like, with other games that you were addicted to? Uh, Yeah, um... I mean, I used to be very addicted to Minecraft PvP as well. Do you remember that, Leo? Yeah, yeah, that was the a while, hive. But yeah, that was that yeah, was a while got... ago. Though. Oh yeah, Bedrock, bro, Bedrock Hive, yeah. yeah. So the Hive is um like Bedrock Hive. Uh, I'm I'm still gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Minecraft Bedrock Hive is still a fun way to play Minecraft PvP. That's like the only good way to play PvP nowadays. Anyway, uh, you go, Leo. Yeah. Like, during lockdown, I had a kind of similar thing. Like, like me, Luca, and a couple of friends started, like, around Bedrock. And I don't know what happened. I just got really angry, you know? I just couldn't help it. I just got really angry when people stole my diamonds. And I squared at people, and I regret it. So, Jarvis, if you're listening to this podcast, I just... No, I feel bad for what I said during lockdown, and I apologize. Damn. Well, now that we've passed, now that we've gone past the uh, 
the the daily Minecraft uh, crapping on Minecraft PvP. Let's talk about my new game, uh, Vicky Clicker, that I made for a school assignment. Yeah, and it is. yes, so updates, guys. The features I actually have a forum. Uh, I have a forum in my Discord server where people can suggest features and changes and updates. So if you want to, make sure to check that out. Another thing though, I am remaking the game, but not on the web. I'm remaking it in a game engine called Go, Go called Godot, and I'm remake. I'm like building the game from the ground up with. Uh, with like completely new features and everything and adding in leveling systems areas and everything and once you reach a million there's like achievements for how how high up you can get there's a leveling system there's i'm gonna i'm gonna add a like an rpg i know this sounds weird but yeah i know <laughs> so to collect to to get like some collectibles and stuff uh, there's going to be like this side RPG that you can play and at, uh, different attacks will cost you a certain number of pickies that you currently have. I'm workshopping the idea, but I think it's going to be cool. Um, be cool yeah. Thanks, man. I'm yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to remake the whole game, but not in web or anything. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to be like my first proper game. What are you going to make it in? Godot, it's a uh, it's a game engine. So you probably know Unity, right? Yeah. But there's Godot, which is like a two D and three D game engine, and it's oh, yeah. pretty good. So, yeah, but, by the, the way, what do you guys think of Vicky Clicker so far? As yeah, as the current world number one Vicky player, reigning champ, just gotta say. Um, yeah, he is. I've obviously really enjoy it. I wouldn't have played it so much if I didn't enjoy it. So, yeah, I'm completely shocked by this announcement, Oliver. Like, I am over the moon. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking at all. Like, this is actually, like, the best news I've heard all day. Wow, okay. Well, that's, that's good to hear, man. Um, I'm going to try and be as faithful to the original game as possible so there's going to be buttons and stuff but i'm going to add sounds i'm going to add uh easter eggs i'm going to add like themes i, I i'm going to make a like an entire list of features that i'm going to add into the new bicky clicker update bicky clicker it's going to be called P bicky clicker dx so it's going to be pretty oh, yeah. cool and yeah it's great like, take some ideas from like pokemon or something kind of yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, I will actually like the RPG thing. I will. <laughs> That's actually a really good segue into the other topic we were going to talk about, which is Pokemon right. cards. So, Leo. Oh, let's go. You go ahead. You, you take this one. Take, uh, take the wheel, man. Because my five-year-old cousin has just started school, at, like, and as you know, when you start like, like primary school. Oh, like, you get into Pokemon cards. That's just a, like, that's just a fact. Yeah, Everyone, it is. <laughs> every... So, Boys, because, like. so, because he started getting into it, I found my old binder from, like, when I was in primary school. And I'm starting to get back into, what, into collecting them. So, like, I, it's like a thick binder. It's, like, heavy as well. Just filled with my old Pokemon cards. And I've just gotten really back into it. Hmm. Wait, didn't, wow, you, um, okay. didn't you try and box like, so, like didn't you buy like three card packets or four and you got really uh, yeah i bought four card packets and i didn't get a single good card so i fe Sorry. felt kind of ripped off i guess mm. Bruh. <laughs> some bad luck that's when we saw you all right oh. Oh. Bus, yeah man. yeah look Oh, you can call me OBG. <laughs> it's it's okay. it's like my trust me. It's like my nickname. And if anyone if anyone here is watching, get, like feel free to <laughs> OBG. Okay, so for newcomers to my channel, OBG plays was a like the first version of my channel that I had a long time ago, and it was great. It it was it was 
this is a really good time for my channel. That's like, that's like the, uh, so right now I think I'm in the golden age of my channel, but back then I used to be in, uh, I used to be in like, like that, that's age. like the classic era, era and the transition from yeah. dead and now, um, like with like the live a little rebrand that's that's like the dark age because <laughs> that's that's when i used to make kind of half-assed content anyway now i'm now i'm i'm back and i'm better than ever and yeah i'm doing pretty good i think so far <laughs> with my with my like sonic rebranding and if you have a look guys if you have a look at some of my older videos sunlight the sunlight montage is still one of my favorite videos that I've ever made on my channel. Cuz I don't I don't give a shit that it's Minecraft PvP. It's still it's still incredible. Have you guys seen it? Uh, my sunlight montage? I don't think I have. I don't think I have actually. I don't remember seeing it. I don't know. I don't remember it exactly, but I have seen it. You should definitely watch it, dude. <laughs> So, I was going to talk about the Mario movie. Let's go. Oh, okay, let's so go. the Mario movie. Um, so far, like, I, I've seen a bunch of trailers of it and everything. And I actually personally think that it looks great. And I'm actually pretty worried for the Sonic community. Because I don't know if... I, I really don't know if the Sonic if the Sonic movie is going to survive after this. Uh, was the Sonic movie horrible? The Sonic movie was great. The Sonic movie one and two were great. They were they're actually the most, the best selling video game movies of all time. But seeing as Nintendo is like a like a multi a multi billion dollar net worth company, I highly doubt that. The Sonic Movie 2 or the Sonic Movie will stay on top. <laughs> mm. Um, what do you guys think? Go, Luca. You know, the Mario Movie, I've seen, like, some trailers on it and stuff. It looks, like, really good. Like, I don't lie. It's got the graphic, like, not the graphics, but, like, I mean, yeah, I guess, but, like, it looks really well made and stuff. It's, uh, depends on the plot and stuff. If it'll be better than Sonic 1 and 2 or, yeah. Like, I don't know. No, yeah, 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 for sure. It's the most like, uh, okay, Leo, you're a you're a Mario fan, aren't you? I know for oh, a massive, fact you're a Mario massive, fan. Massive, yeah, massive fan. What? So, what's your comment on this? What do you think? It, like this movie has been rumored for like a long time now, and like the whole time I've been super looking forward to it. Like when they. When they actually did like a, the first proper announcement and they like revealed the cast of the movie, I started to like get like a bit iffy because like I don't I, I at the time I didn't quite understand well I didn't just get like the regular voice actor for Mario to voice Mario in the movie. Chris oh, yeah, Pratt. I remember of, that. I'm, yeah, that's that, like yeah. a massive um. Chris Pratt. Controversy. Yeah, Chris, like, Chris Pratt. Controversy, yeah. After, after seeing the trailers and stuff. Chris Pratt's like voice from my isn't the best. Like everyone else in the cast, like from what I've seen so far, looks like they're doing an incredible job. Job, and like it seems like it's going to be a good movie, like a good movie. Yeah. And yeah, dude, I, mean, I just oh, okay. Never mind. No, Luca, you go. <laughs> it's all good. You go. Wait, is this a, wait? I, like, did you say that Chris Pratt wasn't that good, or like he's not put enough effort in? Actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, it's like I can't get past the fact that it it doesn't sound like Mario. It just sounds like Chris Pratt putting on an yeah. accent. Yeah, isn't like because Mario's supposed to be like Italian, right? It's it? Yeah, but in, yeah, yeah, in this movie they're making him like Br Brooklyn. Like yeah, Brooklyn. that's it. Doesn't really sit right. Like Mario's whole person, like he's like an Italian plumber. He used to have the yeah, but like the voice Brooklyn accurate. has like. Brooklyn has like a lot of Italian people in it, so like yeah, just, like he's so that it, it still makes sense. Yeah, but one moment, one yeah. moment. So yeah, I'm back. All right, so yeah. I like Chris Pratt as Mario. What I what I've never understood 
is that with Sonic Frontiers, right? Sonic mm. Frontiers had an amazing take on Sonic's voice, like Ro Roger Craig Smith's Sonic voice. And I'm such a big fan of it because what they've done, what he did with his voice is that he changed how Sonic sounds a bit and deepened his voice for a more serious tone. And what I don't understand is why Charles Martinet couldn't have just done that with Mario for this movie. Because he had everything to go for him to just not be, I, I don't know, he could have just changed it even a slight bit. What they did for the Sonic movie is they got a similar sounding voice actor, but fit more of a movie persona and was ready for a movie like type thing. The do you guys would you guys agree with me that that the only reason they added Chris Pratt was for celebrity recognition? Yeah, for the yeah, fame, so he could just... get like recognized. I, the movie would have. Would would have been better if they just got the like. There's half of me that thinks it would would be it will be a better movie if they had kept the original voice actors. But a part of me thinks that like realistically in the Mario games, they don't really do much talking, do they? Yeah. No. Mario like, just, Mario like, just goes. To, he, he just makes like like jumping noises. And same with Peach. They don't like <laughs> actually talk. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, just text boxes. Yeah, they just go like, yeah, like, make like default noises. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. But... Apart so... from Mario sixty four, we've never heard a Peach voice actor since. Mm. And yeah. especially like, I don't think. Wait, if you think about it, is Mario half wait, mute? OBG. Like, can he just wait. pretty much talk in grunts? Because he never kind speaks of, yeah. in any of the games. Yeah, he might just like jumps and then they hear him like. He does talk. He does go like, like, like one of his like. Oh, he's really famous saying like "let's go" and stuff like that's like actually oh, him talking. True. But yeah. outside of that, he doesn't like to, he doesn't speak much verbally to characters like conversation. To also, to cut in quickly, uh, Oliver, like print. Princess Peach does talk in other games, like, like pretty much every character has like, kind of, like has dialogue in Mario Kart, like so like they yeah. have a voice actor for her. Yeah, they do. My bad. It's just like I mean, genuine sentences. If you think about it, apart from the, the opening thing, the, like the opening note to Mario from, um, from Mario sixty four was the only like, proper paragraph we've heard from Peach, apart from, you know, sentence speaking. And I think it's been... Yeah. It's even less with Mario, isn't it? Because in Mario 64, the only thing he was saying was, like, wahoo and stuff. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. I don't think it's genuine... Like, it's genuine anything. I just think it's, like, you know, grunts and noises, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe Chris Pratt was a good choice? I do think they yeah. nailed Bowser's... Um voice actor like impression for real jack black heard? is the yeah. pig yeah. Bowser. Sounds like him. i was kind of surprised that they chose like like key from key and Peele to play to play code like now actually listening to it like he's, he's actually a good choice like he does a good job but toad is a weird character to do Toad just sounds like a high pitched version of whenever you're gargling toothpaste. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's literally what that's that's just what Toad sounds like. Yeah. And um I think anyway, isn't that how people usually do Toad's voice? Probably. It's like um Oh uh, hey Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm not I'm not wrong with my accurate description of how it <laughs> Of how no, the characters yeah, were sounds. <laughs> anyway. Really but yeah, anyway. So, I just wanted to... I'm sorry for cutting the podcast short, guys. I actually have somewhere to go right now. Uh, so, yeah. thank you everyone for tuning in to the podcast. And thank you for Luca and the, Leo uh, for OBG joining OBG me. Fam. See ya, OBG fam. Goodbye, Bye, guys. Go. I'd like to... Can I, do you mind before we wrap up? Do you mind if I 
give a quick shout out to some people that have helped me in my life. Yeah, let's to go. To get me to the situation. First of all, of course, I'd like to thank Callum. Like, this, um, he has been an incredible person and like an influential figure in my life. I'd also like to thank Hamish, Hamish, my friend Hamish, for absolutely nothing. He does not deserve any recognition to not give I, def- I definitely agree with that one. <laughs> uh, and all, first, of course, I'd like to thank you, Oliver, for having me here. But, um, and like, yeah. and like giving me this platform to make my voice heard. And Look, I'd also like man. to thank Luca. I'd also like to thank Luca. He's been an incredible person, far better than Hamish. Thank you. Sorry, Hamish. Hamish is actually like Hamish is a yeah. Hamish has actually like bullied me for a good period of my life. Yeah, right. he's been well, really, very disrespectful. All these things he's done. You, is he's this like, the roast of Hamish? Wow. You know, he's like verb, like he's like assaulted him, like generally, yeah. like he's like, he's like constantly calling me fat and ugly and stuff. Yeah. All like, right. Like, anyway, oh, like, thanks for watching, cool. everyone. I appreciate you. And we all appreciate you for watching. We do. Thank you very we much. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, OBG yeah. fam. All thank good. You, See you later. Fan. See you later, guys. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. See you.